Hi folks, it's Chris. I have a question regarding the EQ6R Pro mount and concerning the polar alignment procedure and I wonder if you can help me out. Okay, during polar alignment I need to adjust those two pairs of knobs, the azimuth and the altitude knobs on my EQ6R Pro. The azimuth knobs here don't cause any problems, you just loosen one knob and then tighten the other because the weight is aligned along that axis. But the altitude knobs here, they drive me insane, really. Um, problem is, the weight of the telescope is balanced along the uh, array and deck axis, but the altitude axis here has a considerable amount of torque onto it. So in order to adjust the altitude, I need to loosen that front screw here, adjust the altitude with the strangely built knob on the counterside, and then tighten that screw again. Problem is, if you look closely, if I tighten that screw, the mount already tilts upwards and downwards. So, whenever I re-tighten that screw, I need to tighten it with exactly the same force as before. Otherwise, I don't get consistent results during polar alignment. And that really bothers me, because I want to create a procedure for me at night where I get consistent results. It's no problem with the azimuth knobs, but it's a pain with the altitude knobs. So I ask myself whether there can be any easy solution for me not to fiddle around with the altitude knobs like for a quarter of an hour and not getting consistent results uh, during polar alignment. I actually thought about adjusting the altitude knobs once and for all as precise as possible and then use the front leg of the telescope to do the fine alignment procedure. So I need a solution to rise or lower the front leg of the telescope with very, very high precision. The idea I had is to use a door hinge and a wooden plate, attach the door hinge onto the plate, then use the holes within the door hinge to insert a very fine screw like that place the front leg of the telescope on top, like that, and then use the screw to adjust the height of the telescope. If the door hinge is long enough and the screw is fine enough, then I think I can lower or rise the front leg of the telescope with very high precision. If everything is constructed robustly, there shouldn't be any vibrations or movement during the session at night. So folks, could this be a valid solution to my problem? I don't know. Please leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts about that. And yeah, I will report on the progress I made. So until then, see you next time here on Catching Photons.